Okay, today I'm going to show you how to fix your NK180 if it if this arm is really rough. Um, I finally figured out what's going on here. So uh, first step, what you're going to have to do is turn it to the back. There's a small, there's four small hex screw that uh, go, comes off. So you want to get these, take these off of here. There's a really small screw on there, so. Take these off of here. Same thing with this one. Get that off, and then. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so after the screw comes off, uh, it's gonna look like this. So you, this has nothing to do with it. This is gonna be set on the side. So what it is, uh, here. so inside of here, there is some ball bearings <clears throat> that usually go bad. So you see how it's spring loaded? This one is spring loaded as well. So what you wanna do is wash everything off really good here. And you're gonna wanna lubricate these bearings on here, okay? So these are spring-loaded, so whenever it gets really dirty or a little bit of dirt get in here, since this, the tolerance is so tight, it's gonna feel very rough. So once you get it all washed up, what I applied on there is some some real, uh, real oil, no fishing real oil. You can put a dab or two dab on here. Also put a dab on here because this one's always going back and forth. And then make sure everything is nice and uh, lubricated. And you can test it out too, see how smooth it is. I got this one all cleaned up already, but instead of buying yourself a new uh, controller, that's all you gotta do. So like I said, um, get everything all washed up nice and clean. And then after that, applied uh, two drops or probably one drop, depending on how, how it is into these bearings here. Then once you get that done, test it. If it's nice, nice and smooth, you're good to go. And then just reassemble. Same thing, how it goes back on. Goes like that. Put your four screw in there, of course. Come on there. I'm pretty sure a ton of you guys are running with the same problem on here where it's running super rough instead of buying another new controller, which you don't have to. It's a really easy fix. Make sure you don't overtime these screws because you can crack your controller on there because it's still plastic. So just put enough tension on there, but don't overtime. Just like that, nothing crazy. And now you can start trolling super smooth again. Easy fix with the Newport uh, 180 uh, controller.